Hi, Casper here on the 1st of November 2018. And really a sort of update tasting note. Uh, this is from my own cellar, just had it delivered. And um, so, well, let's tell you what it is. It's 2009 Merceau Premier Cru Les Charmes from um, Domaine Buisson Charles. And Buisson Charles, um, really celebrated as, as one of the one of the best producers in the, in the village of Merceau. Uh, and also celebrated for producing wines that do tend to last a very long time. That's not to say there's not a little bit of trepidation opening mature white burgundies and at nine years of age most white burgundy I think would be considered mature. Um, and especially opening mature white burgundies from vintages like 09 that were, were hot that perhaps don't have that acidity which is, acts as such a great preservative um, for the wine. So opened it, had a lovely cork actually. Um, when I pulled it out and pouring out the wine, it's just the most lovely colour. It's the wine, the colour has intensified, but it's this fabulous, you probably can't see that from there, but it's fabulous, sort of almost canary yellow colour. It looks really healthy in the glass and I, it's something I was very pleased to see. This has been open for, uh, it was cold when I got out of the fridge, really quite cold, so it's, I had a chance to breathe, I had a chance just to warm up a little bit. And it's an increasingly fascinating nose. It's got a little bit of a touch of sort of struck match, a little bit of toasty wood, but really what one focuses on is the absolutely delicious smelling um, fruit, which is a mix of um, orchard and stone fruit and even a little bit of citrus so it's it's, it's a lot going on in there it's, it's a little bit peach but the peach is cut through with wines that are too peachy suggest sort of flabbiness and and um overripeness but this peach is cut through with sort of pink grapefruit or that's a bit of lemoniness. And um, orange as well. It's got a, got a pear component. It's, it's, it's a delicious thing to smell. It's got a touch of creaminess about it, which I, I suspect is, is probably the, the vintage stamp uh, uh, on the aromas. It just smells like a lovely thing. I'm going to taste it. Mm. Mm. Mm, I'm not going to spit that out. It's got lovely density, but it's got a lightness of touch as well, and um, impressive acidity given the um, given the vintage. It it comes back in a sort of orange scrunch. It really sets the taste buds um, to to high alert. Um, it's it's just an absolutely delicious thing, but it's got this lovely structure still. of toastiness is there and there's a mineral wealth within which um, is, is to, also to do with that fabulous acidity and then towards the back it becomes really quite firm and, and, and slightly earthy. Um, it's a very long thing. It's, it's, I think this is a, probably the perfect state in which to drink it. It's still expressive, it's still, um, it's still got a lot of um, what I tasted when I first tasted it out of barrel um, at the Domain uh, in I guess 2011. Um, that well, the charm characteristic from the vintage, from the vineyard rather. Um, but it's moved on and the fruit sort of opened up and become more complex. Charm, as it, as it sounds, should be a charming, easy to like wine, and in, indeed this is, but within there, there's a real serious, firm backbone, a sort of mineral, dense structure, um, 
which is really most impressive, I think. And it's a wine that I would would be great with some some pretty serious food, I think. Um, it's it's very delicious. It's good to go now, and um, I don't think there's any massive hurry. I mean, probably sometime in the next three to three to five years. Um, but it's so nice now. Gosh, difficult to keep keep one's corkscrew um, in the drawer. But there we are, 2009 uh, Merceau Premier Cru Les Charmes from uh, Buisson Charles. A lovely thing indeed. Fabulous.